The second option is to build the image from scratch using the docker build command. So let's click on the plus sign for option number two and expand the procedures. As noted here, some of these images may require a lot of memory. In this case, the WPS Wharf image, you'll need at least 10 gigabytes of memory. But first, let's navigate to the components directory. Before executing the next series of commands, let's first explore the WPS Wharf directory. In here, we see a Docker file for the WPS Wharf image. Looking at this file, we see that this describes to Docker how to build the image for WPS and Wharf. It's a series of commands that defines what versions to run, where to find the code, any dependencies for different libraries, and any other important information for building that image. Now let's go back to our components directory and then copy and paste these series of commands to execute the docker build command, which will build this image from scratch. This process takes quite a bit for this particular image, so let's pause while it completes. Okay, so the Docker build step has completed, and we can now run the Docker images command to see that we have a WPS wharf image available for use to run the case studies in the rest of these tutorials.